Now, next topic we are going to learn is abstraction. So, if I take example of abstraction, so process of hiding the implementation details and showing only functionality to the users. If I take real world example, you have mobile phone and you can do many things, make a call, take pictures, play games and lots of things. So, it does not show you the inside process of how you doing these things. So, these implementations are all are hidden. It means all are private to you. So, another way it shows only essential things that user hides the inter internal details. For example, sending SMS and I talked about all these things. So, that is what abstraction is. So, we already use that private access modifier. So, that is what it is used to achieve in abstraction. So, next thing is abstract class. So, if I say a class contains a pure virtual function is known as abstract class. We already saw that virtual function. So, we cannot create object for that abstract class. So, these are the few things are the points for the abstract class. No, now if I say that, you know, however, we can derive classes from them and use as a data members and member functions except pure virtual functions. Now, in abstract class in C++, at least one pure virtual function by definition will be there. In other words, a function that has no definition and these classes cannot be initiated. The abstract class child classes must provide body to the pure virtual function. Otherwise, child class would have become an abstract class in the own right. So, that is what is abstract classes. So, if I say, what is the purpose of the pure virtual function? The purpose of pure virtual function is to achieve polymorphism. We want the derived class to override this function. So, it's become mandatory to derive classes to override the pure virtual functions. It means base, base class is governing or giving a rule to the child class that you must override the pure virtual functions. So, it is defining an interface. Now, let's jump to the VS code and let's see one example what abstract class means. And we're going to see uh, how to create pure virtual function for that. Now, let's jump to the VS code. Now, we're going to see the example of pure virtual class that is abstract class and how to create pure virtual function there. So, I'll name it as 20 and I write abstract class dot cpp. Alright, I cannot give space here. So, I'll write this. Alright, now let's create the header file for that first. Hash include iostream and I'll write using namespace std. Alright, I'll write the main function also int main and I'll count the scope and I'll write below return 0. Alright, this is done. Now, we need to create a class. Let's create a class as base class base and from in the base class what I'll write is I'll give all the definitions. So, public in public what I'm going to write is I'm going to write create a function. Let's create a function that is void and function 1. Let's say function 1 and inside that function what I'll be doing is inside this function I'll write definition of that function C out and I'll write base class function 1. So, this is what I have written end L. Alright, so this is the function definition of this. Now, I will create virtual function here. Pure virtual function will create. Virtual function we already saw that. So, here what we will do is pure virtual function how to create. So, I will use the keyword virtual. Virtual is used, then I will use void type of the function, I'll write function 2, function 2 here and I'll initialize it with 0. This is what virtual function is. This is pure virtual function, pure virtual function. All right. Now, what I'll do, I'll create a derived class for that, for the above classes. So, I'll create class derive and that is going to deriving from base class. So, public base. All right. 
I'll come below and write this one and okay this is done now I'm going to create another public access modifier and inside that I'm going to write void function 2 void if you can see 2 so here function 2 is virtual function that is going to inherit here so we are writing what void function 2 now we want to give that definition in this void function 2 so I'll write C out and inside that what I'm going to write is derived class function 2 all right this is done I'll use end l at the last so this virtual function that is named function 2 pure virtual function is going to be copied here also because this are public this function 1 function 2 and this function 2 3 function is going to have this derived class 3 member function is going to have now after this if I create a go to the main function and here if I create object for derived class that is d1 let's say and if I write d1 dot function 1 function 1 and if I write d1 dot function 2 directly here so what value it should give that is expected right so will it will it will write okay I have used here I have to delete this one and I will write this way all right so I have created derived for derived function the object and for the function we are just calling it now when we run this code I'll save this code first control s after writing all these things I'll run the code so after running the code base class function is called this is calling base 1 and this is calling the derived class d1 function 2 so this is calling derived class so when I calling this one d1 dot function 1 so this is this is getting called now this is virtual function is getting also inherited after this is getting called so that we already saw now if you want to call this function we can call we already saw previous in the previous uh, lectures also so this is the end of abstract class and how to create pure virtual functions but pure when we create pure, pure virtual function we use the keyword virtual and we initialize with zero value that is null value now we'll end the code here this is the end of this abstract class thank you so now we come to the end of the oops concept that is encapsulation so encapsulation is process of wrapping of code together in a single unit if i take real life example that a company has several departments it has production department hr department and marketing department and developers all these things are there so all these department makes up a company so it's basically a capsule company is a capsule and all these things are there so that is what used for information hiding also so whatever we wrote inside the class that is methods data members constructors member functions and everything would be defined in a class that is what encapsulation is so every code we in a oops we did all were encapsulation that were binded together in a class so that is what encapsulation is we'll end the topic here as oops concept is getting all it's covered now we're going to jump to the exceptional handling so that will be last part of our c plus plus course thank you if you are coming to the channel first time i request you to please do subscribe to our youtube channel and click the bell icon so that the information about such valuable courses you will get notified